Hey everybody, Albert Lagerman here. Today I'm going to show you my bandsaw. This is a Ryobi 9 inch bandsaw. I got it because I wanted to build stuff after watching a lot of Matthias Wandel videos. Anyway, it comes with a 2.5 amp motor, which might be 2 horsepower. Anyway, it also has a cheap plastic miter gauge, uh, which is not flat, so I screwed on a piece of wood to make it more square so that I can make better cuts. It has a tiltable table so that you can make miter cuts and stuff like that. And on the back, we have this uh, weird blade tension-y thingy. On the top, we have another weird blade tension-y thingy, uh, then tracking adjustment, um, and then tightener downer thingy for the blade hand guard thingy majig. And then you can move the blade handguard thingy-majig up and down with this knob here. On the bottom, we have this uh, dust collection port. Woof! On the front, we have this removable key so that like people won't start up the saw when you're not around. It's kind of hard to get out, but like you can get it out. One of the first things I built on this bandsaw was this bandsaw fence. Just locks on with this handle. And um, I don't have the plans for it because I made it myself. But if you get me up to 100 subscribers, then I might make plans for this. But really, it's pretty easy to make. If we open up the top door, you can see we have this wheel that goes around and around. And it gets kind of dusty in here because uh, I don't have a dust collector and I don't feel like hooking up my mom's shop vac because I've heard from Matthias Wandel that those are really loud. If we look in the bottom door, we can see the little belt hooking up the motor and another uh, wheel thingamajig. The tires are like this weird golden stuff. And uh, on the case, you can see there's this little brush thing that like brushes off the wheel. The blade guide on here is simply like two little uh, pieces of something uh, jammed in there with set screws. And then we can see it has that sticky lint roller up there. No, that's just a bearing. Same thing for the bottom blade guide. It works pretty good. Anyway, you probably want me to cut some stuff on it. So I'll lower the gade, gade blade down all the way. I recommend using these earmuffs and goggles when you use the bandsaw because it can be loud and safety, you know? There you go. Thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions about this saw, then just ask in the comments and I'll answer them.